to a breaking overnight history in Georgia where voters are deciding which party will control the U.S. Senate. CBS News is projecting that Democrat Raphael Warnock is the winner over GOP incumbent Kelly Loeffler. Warnock becoming the first black senator from the state of Georgia. And in the other race, Democrat John Ossoff holds a slight lead at this point over incumbent Republican David Perdue. Right now, that race is still too close to call. CBS News correspondent Deborah Alfaron is on Capitol Hill, bringing us up to date. Georgians flocked to the polls on Tuesday. You can't complain if you don't vote. To cast their ballot for two Senate runoff elections that could shift the balance of power in Congress. God gave us a voice to be heard. CBS News projects Democrat Raphael Warnock has beaten Republican incumbent Kelly Leffler thanks to strong support from black voters and young voters. I am going to the Senate to work for all of Georgia. But Leffler didn't concede when she addressed her supporters overnight. It's worth it for this, can this election to last into tomorrow. We're going to make sure every vote is counted. The other race between Republican David Perdue and Democrat John Ossoff is still up in the air as more votes are counted. One vote can make all the difference. Most of the remaining ballots come from areas that favor Democrats. It's a razor thin margin we've seen out there so far. If both Democrats win, it gives President elect Joe Biden a unified Congress, making his legislative agenda more likely to pass. George Georgia voters have never had more power than you have today. Ossoff would become Georgia's first Jewish senator. Warnock will be its first black senator. The improbable journey that led me to this place in this historic moment in America could only happen here. The losing candidate can request a recount if the results are within a half percentage point. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Washington.